10. A reef taller than the Empire State Building A team of Australian scientists on board the Schmidt Ocean Institute's exploration ship Falco was charting the northern Great Barrier Reef seafloor when they accidentally found a gigantic coral reef over 1,640 feet 500 meters tall. That's taller than the Empire State Building. This new discovery is the first of its kind in over 120 years. It's known as a detached reef. The new coral mast is one of eight that scientists know of in the region. These naturally formed structures deliver important habitats for beings like turtles and sharks, which travel throughout the deep waters neighboring the Great Barrier Reef. The team plotted the detached reef, finding a diversity of life forms flourishing in the ecosystem. They collected samples of rock, sediments, and some organisms that will be sent to labs for analysis. While more specifics about this reef will probably develop, taxonomists reviewing the images and video have already identified numerous new fish species. Wendy Schmidt, the co-founder of the Schmidt Ocean Institute, stated in a press release that the finding is part of a revolution in marine biology. Thanks to new technologies, the work is our eyes, ears, and hands in the deep ocean, we have the capacity to explore like never before. 9. Sunken Sherman Tanks During World War II, the Nazis sank several cargo ships that were carrying US Sherman tanks. Since then, a few of the wrecks have been rediscovered, including the SS Empire Heritage. Originally named the Tafelberg, the 508-foot long, 155-meter steamer was torpedoed 15 miles, 24 kilometers off the Northern Irish coast in September 1944. She took 113 lives with her to the ocean floor. The wreck was found 220 feet, 67 meters below the waves in 2014, along with several M4A176 W Sherman tanks. This medium-sized model was among the first tanks to serve in combat under the US military. In early 1945, the SS Thomas Donaldson left Scotland as part of a 26-ship convoy bound for Russia's Kola Peninsula. But the vessel was shot down by a German U-boat just 20 miles, 32 kilometers from its destination, and it took several Sherman tanks down with it. One tank was brought to the surface in 2014, and there are reportedly at least two more with the wreck that could be recovered. 8. Strange Dinosaur Around 75 million years ago, an armored dinosaur with a strange weaponized tail roamed what is now South America's Patagonia region. The six and a half foot, two meter Cretaceous creature, dubbed Stegorus elangassin, was a herbivorous dinosaur called an ankylosaur. It looked somewhat like a Stegosaurus, other than its tail, which scientists have likened to an extremely flat sword or an Aztec club called Macuahutel. The deadly appendage is unlike any other dinosaur tail ever seen. It was short for a dinosaur's tail, but functioned rather effectively as a weapon. The newly described specimen died near a river, where it may have been sunk into the ground by quicksand. The creature's fossils show ankylosaurs evolved much differently in different parts of the world after the supercontinent Pangaea broke up around 200 million years ago. The event split Pangaea into two separate land masses, the southerly supercontinent Gondwana and Laurasia, which sat largely in the northern hemisphere. Very few ankylosaurs have been found in the region that once encompassed southern Gondwana, and the ones that have differed greatly from their neighbors to the north. They were smaller, with thinner legs and lighter armor, according to lead study author Sergio Soto Acuna, who spoke with CNN about the discovery. 7. World's First Autonomous Cargo Ship News headlines around the world recently reported that the first ever autonomous cargo ship has completed its first transoceanic voyage. Known as the Prism Courage, the vessel finished its 12,500 mile on June 2nd. It departed from the Gulf of Mexico before traveling through the Panama Canal and crossing the Pacific Line, ultimately ending up in South Korea's Boryong LNG terminal. Throughout the 33-day trip, the ship saved fuel using the route optimization feature, which increased efficiency by 7% and reduced greenhouse gas emissions by 5%, according to Avacus, the company that built the self-steering vessel. Thanks to its AI software, Prism Courage also avoided around 100 collisions with other ships. HD Hyundai, the pairing company of Avacus, plans to continue expanding on its use of artificial intelligence for navigating both large merchant ships and leisure vessels. But it has competition from the Norwegian company Kongsberg, which plans to launch the first ever crewless cargo ship later this year. It's called the Yara Birkeland and is 100% electric. 6. The Real Troy 
Homer wrote about the Trojan War in his epic poem The Iliad, but he failed to mention the Trojan horse. According to the Aeneid by Virgil, the decade-long series of conflicts ended when Odysseus ordered his army to build the famous structure. Some of the best Greek soldiers crammed into the hollow gift, and Odysseus fooled the Trojans into thinking it was a peace offering. Once inside the city walls, the Greeks emerged from the wooden horse and ravaged the Trojans, securing their victory in the seemingly endless war. For a long time, experts believed Troy was a mythical place dreamt up in Homer's mind. German archaeologist Heinrich Schliemann proved them wrong during the late 19th century when he found and excavated much of the city in modern-day Turkey. The discovery posed a new question, how many of the stories about the Trojan War are true? Even after Troy's existence was proven, many scholars continued to doubt that there ever really was a Trojan horse. They thought that Virgil's reference to it was metaphorical in nature, perhaps relating to a natural disaster or a war machine, but not a big, clunky, literal wooden horse. Recently, archaeologists at Troy began digging up dozens of strangely positioned wooden planks, with each beam measuring up to 49 feet, 15 meters long. The structure fits Virgil's description of the Trojan horse, and radiocarbon dating revealed that it was built during the 12th or 11th centuries BC, which falls in line with the recorded dates for the Trojan War. So, is it the Trojan horse? Scientists haven't confirmed it, but this certainly could be the case. And it makes you wonder if there are any other true stories out there that experts have mistakenly labeled as mythical. Atlantis, perhaps? What mythical story do you think might be genuine? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 5. The First Nocturnal Dinosaur Around 65 million years ago, a strange genus of theropod dinosaurs called Shavuai roamed the desert in what is now Mongolia. These creatures came from the same group of dinosaurs that gave rise to modern-day birds. The only known Shavuai species is a Shavuai deserti, which means desert bird. It was about half the size of a chicken, with long legs, a fragile skull, and powerful arms equipped with single claws. Scientists have long known of the species' existence, but they only recently realized that it may have been the first dinosaur to hunt at night. A team member noticed the creature's legena, an organ the processor's hearing was unusually long. The team compared the species with CT scans of around 100 living birds and extinct dinosaurs. They also measured each species' scleral rings, which are the bones surrounding the pupils, to determine which animals were more likely to have operated in low flight. They were surprised to learn that the barn owl, a nocturnal species with excellent hearing, was the only creature with a comparably long legina to the Shuvuya. The Shuvuya's scleral ring was large in diameter, meaning it led in a lot of light and perhaps enabled the animal to hunt in the dark. The creature's remarkable hearing helped it locate burrowing insects and small mammals. Then it seized its prey by digging in one of its two large singular claws. Several of the Shavuya's traits, including nocturnal activity, digging ability, and long hind limbs, are also seen in modern-day desert animals. The team also learned that most dinosaurs were primarily daytime creatures, and that predatory dinosaurs typically had good hearing compared to most birds, while herbivorous dinosaurs usually had poor hearing compared to most birds. 4. Illegal Colonial Currency while sifting through hundreds of old coins at the Wentworth family estate in Northumberland, England recently, someone found a silver coin that was minted in Boston, Massachusetts in 1652. It was likely brought back to Britain by one of the family's ancestors, who settled in New England during the colonial era. A descendant of the settlers, named Wentworth Beaumont, took the tin full of coins to James Morton, an expert from the London-based Morton and Eden Auction House. He noticed the colonial shilling right away, later recalling in a statement that he could hardly believe his eyes. One side of the coin features the letters N-E for New England, and the other bears the Roman numeral XII to reflect its monetary value. Only about 40 of these shillings survive today, and the recently discovered coin is the only one to ever be certified as being in mint condition. It was illegal to mint coins in the New World. Settlers were required to trade using goods and currencies from other countries, but they faced a coin shortage, and the Massachusetts General Court commissioned silversmith John Hull to strike the shillings. The first version of the coin, which is what the Beaumont family found in their attic, was simple and easy to counterfeit, so silversmiths improved the design over time. For the next 30 years, they stamped all the coins they made with the year 1652, so that the British wouldn't suspect that there was still any minting going on. But the authorities found out anyway, and in 1682, King Charles II shut the mint down for being treasonous. The Beaumont family shilling was recently sold at auction to an anonymous buyer for $351,912. 3. Mysterious Mummy 
Around 800 years ago, a young adult died in Peru and was mummified before being buried near the coast. The body's preparers wrapped the corpse in cloth, put the person's hands over their face, and tied their limbs and body up with rope. These rituals were customary among the Andean cultures who lived in the region before the Incas rose to power around 1400 AD. Archaeologists recently discovered the mummy right outside the capital of Lima. The area, known as Gaia Marquia, was once home to one of the biggest and busiest pre-Hispanic settlements along the Peruvian coast. The team believes the individual was a young man who died between the ages of 25 and 30, but they have yet to confirm this. He was found in an oval-shaped tomb beneath the city square, suggesting that he was an important person. Perhaps a trader had moved to the town from elsewhere to sell his wares. The mummy's tomb was filled with ceramics, stone tools, and other grave goods. There were also signs that people visited his burial long after he died and left offerings of meat and vegetables. The team is currently awaiting radiocarbon dating and other test results so they can get a more precise idea of when the person died and perhaps who he was to his community. 2. Our Ancient Relative At least 130,000 years ago, perhaps even before then, a young woman lived and died in a remote cave in what is now Laos. Scientists unearthed one of her molars in 2018 at a site known as Cobra Cave. The tooth didn't come from a member of the modern human species known as Homo sapiens. It also didn't resemble a tooth belonging to the archaic Homo erectus species, which was one of our first ancestors to walk upright. But a closer look revealed that the molar could belong to a Denisovan an extinct close relative of ours whose DNA has persisted into some modern-day human populations. Denisovan DNA first appeared in the Homo sapiens genetic code over 50,000 years ago, when the two species interbred. It hasn't yet been proven that the tooth belonged to a Denisovan, but so far all signs point towards this being the case. According to scientists, there's a slight chance that the molar may have come from a Neanderthal, but that is unlikely. Archaeologist Katerina Duca told CNN that it could also belong to a hybrid individual of mixed Homo sapiens and Denisovan descent, or possibly to a member of a yet unknown hominin group. But if it is a Denisovan tooth, it could help to trace the prehistoric species' movement and the timeline of its interactions with modern humans. This would also be the furthest south that Denisovan remains have been found. So far, all other evidence has placed them in North Asia, yet modern genetics indicate they migrated southward at some point, and finding a Denisovan tooth in Laos would reinforce that narrative. The team that discovered the molar plans to try extracting DNA from it and to continue excavating the site where it was found, hoping to unearth more clues about our distant past. 1. The Piltdown Man in 1912, an amateur archaeologist named Charles Dawson claimed that human-like fossils had been found in East Sussex, England. The country's top paleontologist announced that the newly discovered bones, nicknamed the Piltdown Man, belonged to a newly discovered human ancestor who lived around 500,000 years ago. Experts described the species as the definitive missing link between humans and other primates. These claims were disproved in 1949, when new technology revealed that the remains were no more than 50,000 years old. By then, modern Homo sapiens had already emerged into existence, which meant that the Piltdown Man couldn't possibly represent a so-called missing link between humans and apes. Further investigation revealed that the fossils were from a human and some sort of ape perhaps an orangutan, and that the artifacts had been stained to look like they matched the gravel at the site where they were supposedly discovered. It was soon determined that the Piltdown Man was nothing more than an elaborate hoax. But why would someone go so far out of their way to lead science in the wrong direction? The answer may have something to do with racism. During the late 19th century, shortly before the Piltdown Man was discovered, the first evidence that humans evolved in Africa came as Homo erectus fossils. Many Europeans apparently felt threatened by the growing body of evidence that our roots can be traced back to Africa. By creating the illusion of the Piltdown Man, scientists could claim that Britain played a prominent role in human evolution, and perhaps even white people had evolved separately from black people. While the Piltdown Man story was disproven a long time ago, it's just one example of how historical narratives are fraught with bigotry and insecurity among its overwhelmingly white body of writers. By setting these biased and sometimes entirely false stories straight, people today can get a fairer and more accurate picture of the past. Thanks for watching. Do you think there is an actual missing link between apes and humans, or do you not think it exists? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.